Attention to all involved in the medical marijuana industry, including doctors, nurses, patients, consumers, dispensaries, growers, harvesters, landlords, lenders, bankers, and transporters. Your livelihood is directly being threatened by the Obama administration. President Obama and the hired guns at the IRS and the DEA are coming after all of you. And they're starting in California. There is a solution and it is political and providing this solution is the purpose of this video. First, here is what Obama is doing. Well, Uncle Sam is pulling out a new weapon in the fight against marijuana. Taxes. Taxes are the weapon. One medical marijuana dispensary in California, which calls itself the oldest in the nation, by the way, that dispensary, getting hit with a million dollar tax bill. The owner says she was told she could no longer write off expenses like any other business. Adam Shapiro is live in Fairfax, California with this story. But first, Adam, how'd you get this assignment? Uh, we've been following this for a couple of weeks because the federal government changed its policy, Jenna, say June of this year, where in 2009 they said don't prosecute legally operating medical marijuana dispensaries and those who supply the dispensaries. That was 2009. In June of this year, the federal government completely reversed course and is now not only prosecuting medical marijuana dispensaries operating legally within their states, but going after the people who operate the dispensaries with the IRS. I'm going to introduce you to Lynette Shaw in just a second, but listen to what the man, Steve D'Angelo, who operates the largest dispensary in the nation, not far from here in Oakland, said about the IRS. They used to allow him to deduct taxes for the stuff they now consider illegal, but they won't let him to de deduct taxes for the business expenses that everyone knows are legal. It's just very confusing and an about face by the administration. Here's what Steve told us. It seemed really remarkably absurd to me that we were allowed to take a deduction for an illegal substance, but not allowed to take deductions for completely legal things. So this is Lynette Shaw. She operates the oldest medical marijuana dispensary in uh, the country, essentially. 15 years, not-for-profit, zoned by the City Planning Commission to be here, and now you've got the federal government through the U.S. Attorney's Office going after your landlord because you're near a park despite being zoned to be here and you got the IRS coming after you. Why is the federal government trying to make a case do you think against you? It doesn't make any sense at all. It's, it's a shocking reversal of policy when I thought we were, you know, we had a friend in the White House and apparently we don't. The, the patients are terrified. The sick people that we've been tending for 15 years now are afraid that they'll, they'll lose their access which stabilized their condition and really has helped a lot of people. Well, um, I'm not sure what's happened to the Obama administration, but they've definitely turned their back on the medical marijuana movement. Uh, we have a lot of critically ill people. We have enormous rate of breast cancer here in Marin County. There's cancer, there's AIDS, hepatitis C, there's terrible diseases, and medical marijuana is very, very helpful. The t kind of relief you cannot get with some kind of a pill. And we've had a stabilization of our medical patients and uh, acceptance into the community. We have a regulated and really, really acceptable and discreet system that has worked and we've been good citizens. We've paid our taxes, we've well, filed everything, we I, pay all his, our fees, we charge sales tax. His, What's wrong? Here's what I don't understand. Uh, I would have thought that President Obama would have been on the side of legalizing marijuana. I'm not saying that pejoratively, but I thought that the left generally was in favor uh, of this kind of cause. Um, so that surprises me that it is the Obama administration which is doing this to people <laughs> like you. Ladies and gentlemen watching this video, there is only a little over a year left in the Obama administration. The loss of your state recognized rights to use medical marijuana will range from great inconvenience and loss of income to great suffering of pain and other harsh medical conditions whose severity can be mitigated by medical marijuana. But there is a solution. But it is unfortunate that in today's modern society, that solution has to be political. Let's hear what the solution is. Did you vote for Obama, by the way? It, absolutely. I, I left my libertarians. I, I'm one of the leaders from the libertarians here, the, the progressives in, in, in California. And I joined the Democrats and worked very hard to bring Obama into office. And now I'm going to have to ask all my supporters across the nation to, as a protest, to sign and join up to the Republican Party and vote for Ron Paul in the primary. Because Whoa. Yes, ladies and gentlemen watching this video, the only viable way to keep your freedoms 
regarding medical marijuana is to vote for Ron Paul in the Republican primary. I know that this solution may be very offensive to some of you, and I can certainly appreciate your feelings as so many, if not just about all, of the Republican politicians are hypocrites. But Ron Paul is not. Even if you disagree with him on a particular issue, he says what he means and he means what he says. He very well may be the only honest politician left, and he believes that you as an individual have the right to put into your body what you see fit, including medical marijuana. And as a quick aside, he is the undisputed champion in civil liberties, always voting against the Patriot Act, against the powers of the TSA, against the failed war on drugs, and against the banking bailouts, and he also wants to bring the troops home now. In order to find out how you can support Ron Paul in the primary election in your state, go to bluerepublican.org and watch the YouTube video on their front page for a general overview. In California, for example, you must be a registered Republican to vote for Ron Paul in the primary. After voting in the primary, you can go back to your original party affiliation. This is your only chance to save the medical marijuana industry from the Obama administration and from the other Republican candidates. Don't delay before it's too late. Go to bluerepublican.org now, switch the Republican Party, hold your nose if you have to, and make sure you vote for Ron Paul in the primary. He is the only currently viable hope for the medical marijuana industry. Lastly, may I suggest watching some Ron Paul videos to learn more about him if your knowledge is limited. Go to the YouTube page of this video, click on Show More, and you will find two links to Ron Paul videos, and you'll also find a link to the bluerepublican.org and other links to medical marijuana videos. Or you can just type bluerepublican.org in your web browser. Don't wait. Take action now to protect your rights and your body. And please send this video to everyone that you know.